Hi there, how are you doing? Are you good? Great. This right here is a sub comes in quite handy. I know a couple of people that don't have subs, but if you're into horror movies, action movies, you will need one of these. Now, the thing about buying one of these things is the lower the frequency they put out, the more they cost. And the same goes for wattage. So the more watts you want your sub to put out, the more you're going to have to put out cash. I mean, not, you know, typically the human hearing goes from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. If you want to really experience lower frequencies, you're going to need something like this. This is a butt kicker LFE. And it's also quite dusty looking because it's not been used in quite some time. It's just been lying on one side, sort of staring me in the face every time I walk past it. So I'm going to attach this to my chair or at least attempt to. I got this as a kit with an amplifier, but so it sort of depends on your amp as to how low you'll be able to get with this. 3 hertz is what I've got it to. Typically, movies don't get that low, but they do have very low frequencies. So if you don't have a sub and you watch movies, especially horror movies and action movies, you're missing out on so much. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to leave all the cat hairs and dust on this and uh, attempt to attach it to my chair. What I'm going to do is use these and they were actually taken from the box that was keeping this in and I'm going to mount this directly to the bottom of the chair with those and with them being short hopefully they don't go through the surface of the chair and poke me in the butt and here we have the chair so this is an IKEA chair IKEA um, it's all right, it's not bad. Uh, the backrest is a little taller than I'd like, but um, kind of needed a new chair at the time I bought this, so uh, got this. Anyway, that backrest right there is going to need to come off. And then I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to leave the armrests on and it will balance on those, hopefully. Now, not only are subs handy to have, but so are these. So that's going to go in there like that. Got to press the button down. And now to the chair. All right, so the back's been taken off of it. Kind of looks a little weird. Might sit on that and see what it's like. The chair is now upside down. You could have probably worked that out for yourself. The butt kicker, I think I might just put it there in the corner. All right, okay, so something like this I'm thinking. Not too sure if it should be on my right or my left. Uh, this right now is going to be on my left. My legs will be coming off of that side. Right, so what I'm going to do is screw it straight into there. Now, I could quite easily have bought one of these. These attach quite easily to chairs and stuff. But why buy that when I've got this, the heavy duty version? And there we have it. It's now mounted to the bottom of the chair. Right, there we are then. This is now complete. And the hardest part of this was probably putting the backrest back on. Now the only thing left to do is to connect these to the wire right there. Connect this side to the amp and uh, test it out. Right, so now before I show you how this works with it attached to the chair, what I've got to do is find a movie scene, but also set some settings on the amplifier that's going to be powering this. Right, so what I'm going to do on the amp is set it to bridge. And crossover can be low pass. And we'll set the low pass to, I would normally say about 80 hertz, but this sub that's attached can do down to about 20. All right, 30 is the lowest it's going to go, so I'll leave it at 30. And input sensitivity, that's fine the way it is. And now, I've got to see if the wire's long enough. All right, turns out the wire's long enough. And also, if I wanted, I could get this sub in the shot too. I'm not too sure how easy it's going to be to see this move. I mean, it should vibrate quite easily, but um, what I'll do is I'll just leave the camera like this, something like this, maybe level it out a little better. Now, the scene I'm about to play is a clip from Godzilla. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, you might not see this speaker move that much because I've turned down the bass on it a little bit because the volume's got to be a little louder than it would be normally because I'm using the line outs uh from the audio interface um well i mean the speaker's not really the point of this video the point of this video is to see how this butt kicker shakes the chair and hopefully you'll be able to see that if not i'll run some bass notes 
through the butt kicker alone and you might be able to see the chair move that way. Also, the audio being recorded right now is being recorded through a lav mic which is attached to me. And every time I make a video, I EQ my voice. I've got a lot of bass in my voice, so I cut that. So there's gonna be even less bass coming through these speakers. Um, I'll just press play on this clip now and you can hopefully see this move. Just gonna stop that there. Not too sure if you saw the chair move that much. Right, let's start from 25 hertz. Not too sure you can see that move, but the chair is turning and it's vibrating. Um, quite close to the camera's frame rate though, so let's go down to 22. Oh yeah. Twenty hertz. Eighteen. Sixteen. Fourteen. Low frequencies is what this thing's made for. 13 hertz. 12. 12. The chair seems to be up against the radiator so it might not be moving as much. 10 hertz. 10 I'm gonna turn the chair a little bit. Now the entire backrest is moving quite a bit. Can't really tell on camera that much. It seems to be moving more in real life. Eight hertz. Six. Still moving. It's just the camera doesn't really pick it up that much. There we are. Can't really tell on camera. Still moving though. Um, that's 4 hertz. Okay, so 7 hertz, and if I turn this up more than I have done... And I don't really want to turn it up more than that. So, uh, yeah, it does, it does move. So if you watch a lot of movies, you want to get something like this after you get a sub that can hit at least 25 hertz. This will take over the rest all the way down to three hertz. So yeah, there's a lot of low frequencies used in movies that you don't hear otherwise. And if you just have a normal speaker system, you won't ever hear. So uh, yeah, that has been a video on this butt kicker LFE. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next one.